Hello everyone. In last class, we studied about the joints of the bones of trunk. Today, we'll continue study about the joints of bones of limbs. The first, we'll study the joints of the upper limb. And the joints of the upper limb includes joints of shoulder girdle and joints of the free upper limb. First, let's see the joints of the shoulder girdle. Now you see this picture. Please have a review about the bones of the this bone. What's the name? Okay, sternum. What's this? Clavicular. And what's this? Yeah, scapular. Okay. Now let's see the joints between the three bones. And here is sternum. Here is clavicul clavicular. Between them, they will form a joints. Now let's see. Sterno clavicular joints. Sterno means sternum. Clavicular means clavicle. Okay, the first one. The second one is acromial clavicular joints. Acromial means there is a cromen, you know, a cromen is a very big, precise, on scapular, on scapular, on the bike of scapular, there is, there is a span, and on the left end of the span is a cromen. And here, the left side of clavicular, between them, we affirm a cromial clavicular joints. Okay? A the two joints formed by the three bones. Now let's see the next one. First, let's study sternoclavicular joints. Okay. First, let's see the composition of it. Now you see, here is the sternal end of the scapular. Here. Sternal end of the clavicular, or the medial side of the clavicular. And this is the right clavicle. Uh, it's the left clavicle. Good. Now let's see here. What's this? It's the, uh, the top of the sternum. And this there is eight borders structure. Uh, this one is manubrium sterni or sterno manubrium. And here on the left side there is a clavicular notch. Clavicular notch. And this notch connects with the sternal end of the scap. Clav clavicle, they will form a joint, and uh, this one is sternal clavicular joints. And around it, there's some ligament to strengthen. Now let's see about the characteristics of these joints. First, inside of the joints, there is a disc, articulate disc, and this disc Divided small cavity into lateral cavity and medial cavity. Divided the articular cavity into two entirely separated compartment. Okay, the first character there is the disc in it. You know the disc is a structure in a joint, special structure. And now let's see the movement about these joints. First, you can upwards. Uh, this joint can upwards. Now, please do it with me. Uh, when you the shoulder shrug, move upwards. This is the movement of the joint elevation. And uh, when your shoulder go downwards, is depression. Uh, depression. And the joint can move, or your clavicle, uh, clavicle can move forwards and backwards. At the same time, this joint can circumduction, circumduction, okay, you know. And this side can move uh, with a circle, and this side don't move, uh, it's circumduction. And these joints here, the lateral side, two thirds, uh, is very easily broken, uh, clavicle, this one, this side often be broken, 
we have started in the bone. Okay, it's about this joint. Now let's see the second one. Acromioclavicular joint is a plane joint. Plane joint that means the two surfaces on the two bones, they are like a plane, a surface. Surface, they are face to face. And these joints nearly can't move. No any movement. Uh, it's plane joint. Now let's see the composition. Acromio means acromio and, uh, no, here, acromio, acromen of scapular, here, acromen of scapular, here, acromen of scapular, okay, and here is clavicle, clavicle, here is the acromen and of the scapular. Uh, they are face to face, here is the plane joint, this joint, can't move, nearly can't move. Okay, it's about the shoulder girdle, joints of the shoulder girdle. Now, we'll study the joints of the bones of free upper limb. In this part, there are one, two, three, four, five parts. Uh, the first one, the shoulder joints. Second one, elbow joints. The fourth one, wrist joints. They are important joints we should master. And other two ones, the joints of the ulna and the radius and the joints of hand, is not important. You don't need to master, only to listen. Know some uh, normal knowledge in enough. Okay, now let's continue. First, we'll study the shoulder joints. The shoulder joint is very, very important. You see here, I have right. It's one of the most important joints. What's the most important joints in our body? First one, shoulder. Second one, elbow. And then, wrist. And on your lower limb, first one, hip joints. Then knee joints. The last one is the ankle. And these three joints is the most important joints because in our life, we often use the six joints to do to finish many important moments. Okay. And if it's important joints, what structures or what contents we should master? Uh, first, you know the name. Uh, then, the composition. The composition means, for example, the shoulder joints, what's born? will form your shoulder joints. So the composition has a relationship with the bones we have studied in the last chapter. And this chapter joints is a very good chapter to review with about the bone. So you should study the joints with the bone. If you forget the bone or forget the structure on the bone, please go back to reviewer about the bones, okay? And then you should master the characteristics. Characteristics is what's the feature, uh, what's the character of the joints. And the last one is about the moment. You should, the moment is a very important part of the joints because the joints, the function is finished or do the moment. Okay, it's about Master contents we should study. Then, now let's study about shoulder joints.